so welcome everybody uh, i am dr tushar vinod devras i am the chairman and managing director of astute career counseling academy we are a us based academy we have uh, office in chicago and philadelphia and we have our own affiliated medical pg hospital in new jersey so we know in and out of the medical pg process and i, I always tell the students ki pg is most critical so you do the mbbs part of it but if you don't know what is the process for the pg many times students struggle i have been creating lot of videos on to this part of it and uh, today we are creating the video for the philippines medical education because their body chad which is a higher education body in philippines and first september they have come out with a letter uh, with the changes based on the Nash, uh, our uh, national medical commission gazette notifications dated 18th november 2021 and there has been lot of confusion happening whether philippines degree is valid not valid degree if it is valid what are the parameters which is there so i have the different videos which is created already on national medical commission gazette notification but i will cover up again some basic part of the those so that we are aware of it and then i'll tell you what are the actual current position i will show you actually the screenshots of the those uh, letters and gazette notification and i'll explain to you what are the portions which are there i am recording this video on 11th of september 2022 so whatever regulations or government orders or court orders as on 11th september 2022 is valid if any order comes subsequently please periodically check it because there are lot of cases in the supreme court high courts of india as well as the national medical commission from time to time maybe modify their own orders so as on today's days i am creating this video so that is why what information is based on uh, the information available as on today's date uh, you can check my all old videos even why the the english speaking country is necessary why china russia ukraine georgia and non english speaking countries are banned now these are the portions which are uh, which is uh, already been created so uh, you need to check up this parts of it the uh, what are the countries which are open and as i say the, the non english speaking country you should not go i will show you the gazette notification supporting that part so chad body in philippines on 1st september they released a letter there are many uh, medical colleges which uh, reached out to them and then they say we, we are facing a problem due to gazette notification and uh, so as i always say the medical pg is most critical you may be knowing that uh, in uh, india uh, once the any international student come back to india they have to take the fmg foreign medical graduate examination this examination last happened on june though 2022 only 10% student passed out only 10% students passed out this examination which is a june 2022 examination this is a 3 hours exam now that will be replaced by 13 and 1/2 hours examination national exit from 2023 you can think of how the the passing percentage will drop it is just a 3 hours versus 13 and 1/2 hours and that is going to be a major because national exit 1 will also be utilized for pg admissions so and it is not passing this is a passing i am talking this is a pass percentage 90% student failed from different countries now the 13 and 1/2 hours this passing percentage may come to 5% maybe and that is why it is very clear that we need to understand this very very categorically so uh, this is going to be a major challenge medical pg and if you just pass borderline you may not get a government college you may get private or deemed colleges and uh, you may be knowing that the fee structure of private and team is very very high those who are from maharashtra they cannot apply to private colleges also they can apply only deemed university and uh, today it may it is more than 1 crore after 6 years 1.5 to 2 crores so many times student go to international destination because they don't have the money and um, they stuck in pg i have not seen the students coming from china russia ukraine georgia 
doing the PG program. If they have the money, they can go to deemed university, they, you can do it. But those who are, do not have 1.5 crores, you become plain MBBS for whole life. And that is the biggest challenge part of it. So National Medical Commission on 18th November issued the two gazette notification. Now, everybody is showing only one gazette notification. There are two gazette notification. They were challenged in the Supreme Court. Supreme Court has upheld that. That means it is a law. These are the government-backed National Medical Commission on the website. It is there and it is a law now. It has been, it is mandatory because Supreme Court has also uphold this law. So let's discuss in brief about that. This is the first law which is dated 18th November 2021. What it is called Foreign Medical Graduate License and Regulation 2021. What it talks, everybody knows. 54 months of the your uh, medical, 12 months of internship, instruction in English. And this is the most critical part. The point number B, registration with respective. Now in India, you go to any doctor, you go to any doctor and check his certificate. He needs, it is called the registration certificate. If you are registered with National Medical or State Medical Commission, Maharashtra Medical Commission, you can allow to practice. License to practice is mandatory in that country. So if you are going to a particular country, you have to register, you should be able to license to practice. And most of the countries, license to practice require the licensing exam. In India, Till date, there is no licensing exam. You pass MBBS. But from 2023, national exit exam is going to be licensing exam. So even in India, if you want a registration certificate, you have to pass national exit exam one and national exit exam two. These are licensing. So many people are trying to confuse you. Many counselors are trying to confuse you. Ki registration is different and license to practice is different. No, it is same. You can check up with, go to any of your family physician or doctor, check it. It says registered, registration. Registration means license to practice. It is very, very clear. So you, you can go to those countries. So medium of instruction has to be also English. That is also very critical part of it. And what is this mean is also clarified by the, the National Medical Commission in second notification. This is a second notification on 18th November. Okay, this is a Gazette notification. Now, many people will not show you. What it says, third point, internship to be integral part of undergraduate medical education. Internship is not separate. And th there was a lot of queries on today. They published one more notification, question and answer. This is on the National Medical Commission official website. What it says, internship, clerkship, or the training are two phases. So uh, clinical posting is at 54 months MBBS. And internship, this is very critical. Now read it. I will highlight it. I will remove this. So internship is done after MBBS, that everybody knows. But it is an integral part of undergraduate. It is an integral part. Here also in the top, it is an integral part. It is an integral part of so MBBS. So Russia, they are saying, okay, English media mind teaching, but you go to the hospital where patient is going to speak in English, uh, in Russian. You go to Georgia, the patient is speaking in Georgian or Kyrgyzstan. Now, internship is integral. So when they say in the notification in international, 100% of the education has to be in English medium. That also includes the, 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 the part of the internship. So if your internship is not done, that is why I have been telling for last many, many years, you should go to only English speaking country. The country whose national language is English. Otherwise, you cannot come back. So now the agents are sending you to the non-English speaking country. You are going to stuck when you come back to India. You may not be even allowed to take national exit exam because notification, they are showing you one notification. This is a second notification they are not showing you. Again, third time, fourth time, they have again published. This is again, they have published it. 
in a FAQs again with the Ukraine and the, this China problem. Again, the same points what he says. Respective professional regulatory body competent to grant license to practice in respective company where the medical degree is grants registration to foreign medical and at the par with license to practice. What more clarification you require? It is an official National Medical Commission. They are again and again and again, three times, four times, they are publishing and telling you, please read the notification. Please write an email to National Medical Commission. Please write an email and ask whether Russian degree or Chinese or Ukraine or Georgia is valid. Can you come back to India? Please write an email to them. They will reply back to you. They'll reply back to two to three days. They are replying back. How, what better? It's a writing publications which is challenged in Supreme Court and it is hold uh, part of it. Internship again is integral part. Many times it has been told, but the so many agents are confusing it. So if you have still doubt what I'm telling is true or no, please write to National Medical Commission. They have been answering the questions. And many students who have taken the admissions into China, Russia, Conjurer, cancelled it after MCI and National Medical Commission clarified to them. And what is the need of doing? Because whole world is changing from 2020 through. If you can diagnose a patient, you can treat it. One doctor is better than another, which is so your hospital experience is going to be the most critical part. Where you learn the diagnosis, it is not the, how the heart functions, how the kidney functions. Why these people in Russia, China, they are struggling today is because their hospital experience is weak. You cannot become a doctor without going to hospital. There are students coming to me from Georgia. They have never even ventured. Virtually, they have been showing the hospitals. They don't know what is how to practice because the Georgian language is such a difficult. People cannot talk English. And now you learn the, this language and you speak fluently in English. It, uh, in that local language, it is not possible. So this is going to be a major problem uh, going forward. So it is very clear. It has to be English speaking, internship in English, integral part of admission, license to practice and easy in PG. These are the main parameters. So let's come back to our topic today with this introduction is the, about the Philippines. So where you can go? US, UK, Australia. If you go to these five countries, US, UK, Australia, even national exit exam has been given. And today, US is very cheap, very cheap. If you get SAT marks of around 1300, 1400, you may go to two to four lakhs rupees to USA. But other English speaking countries are also there. Now, Philippines is an English speaking country. They ruled, Philippines was a colony to USA. They ruled for 50 years. It's Christian country, very safe country because you, um, the woman population is more than men. The practicing doctor in USA, one doctor out of 10 is from Philippines, Christian country, as I said, but they have the pre-medical of two years and four years of doctor of medicine, total six years course. And uh, so National Medical Commission says, you know, BS, Bachelor of Science is not MD. So they say BS and MD are two separate degrees. And BS course cannot be an MBBS course. That means... BS is not MBBS. MD is MBBS. In internationally, MBBS is used the word MD, doctor of medicine. So what does that mean? He, when the National Medical Commission on 25th of March, this is a notification. This two years is not valid, only four years. And the course duration, what Gazette notification says, 54 months plus one year. So four and a half and five. So your doctor of medicine program should be five and a half years to be valid. So four years doctor of medicine is not satisfying the NMC norms. Definitely it is not. So then the Philippines uh, colleges were very much concerned. They went uh, to CHAD, their own body. And the CHAD again, give the one on 1st of September, this notification again. What it says, we are recognizing 54 months of doctor of medicine program. So now the college can change their program from four years to 54 months plus one year. It means five and a half years. And also they said again in this program also, um, the, the, they said, what is their saying? The, this uh, 
higher education degree the so so medical doctor of medicine awarded by the international students is same degree offered and awarded to filipino okay and another things which is very very clear huh? they can take board examination and obtain license to practice these two things very very clear because they need to take a they cannot get, get a license to, unless they clear the board examination so there is a board examination which is a medical board examination you have to pass that examination and then you will be allowed to practice so international students are allowed now what is the uh, qualification to take this exam who can take this board exam okay that is the part so uh, uh, because of this uh, this notification the indian embassy in philippines has again given one notification so indian embassy in philippines they say these are the three conditions which are standard condition so then embassy says embassy is aware that recent mandate by the chad okay this does not comply the nmc criteria even though this letter has been issued by the 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 national medical so chad so chad is issued this letter what is issued the letter ki it is a uh, 54 months it is still not fully addressing the nmc criteria it is very clearly indian embassy has mentioned this is the letter being on their embassy website it is there embassy further clarifies that there is no communication from philippines that this is compliant so indian students should be very critical it is not complied today so if you are going to philippines based on the condition of this it is not complied so this is a letter from the uh, Indian embassy. It is an official letter. <coughs> they said, they claim they have spoken to National Medical Commission and National Medical Commission said, even after this, it is not compliant. So why it is not compliant and how the Philippines degree can be compliant? Let's understand that part very, very categorically. So this is an advisory from the medical education in Philippines, which has come from the none, none other than our official government part of it. So the if you go to the regulatory body this examination licensure examination okay this requires additional one year of internship so after the basic internship they call it post graduate internship to appear for this exam in addition to one year standard internship you have to take one year of additional post graduate internship and that is why this point has not been clarified into the, the CHAD. And that is why it has been assumed. And that is why maybe advisory might have given by the National Medical Commission or the, the, the Indian Embassy. But still we give the benefit of doubt to, okay, that is uh, the hidden part. But Indian students will comply by that. Even we give the all the benefit of doubt to the CHAD letter which will comply the conditions posed by the, the National Medical Commission. So we grant it maybe, as many counselors are saying, you know, this will be definitely granted. So we studied into that part. We say, okay, no problem. Even if the, 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 the embassy has written the letter, we just discard that letter. We say the CHED letter is a perfect letter. College will comply with that. If we assume all these parts, part of it let's understand what you need to do it so licensing exam in philippines is a 24 hours exam so it is a six hours daily for four days total 24 hours very difficult current passing percentage of filipino international student never took this exam but it was not required the philippines local students passing percentage is less than 50 percent it is difficult exam it's a 24 hours. In India now, the national exit exam is 13 and a half hours exam. Four and a half hours for three years. The, F the FMG is three hours exam and the 10% passing. Think of the 24 hours exam. It is going to be very, very difficult. But we give still the benefit of doubt. Indian students are brilliant and they will pass this 24 months exam also. Let's assume this. It is a difficult exam. Filipino student may be less than 50% passing, but we will pass this exam still see what is the equation which is coming 
So students will go first two years of BS. This is the part which the CHAD letter says or in National Medical Commission. So five and a half years plus two years. So we are talking of 7.5 years MBBS. Okay, so this is the part five, seven and a half years. In India, in five and a half years, which we complete, they will complete. Then one year of postgraduate licensing internship, as I've shown you, it is mandatory if you want to take licensing exam. You may take one to two years, but I take it minimum one year. You take the licensing exam. It will take one year because uh, six monthly examination. Okay. So you have to prepare at least for six months and then you exam. Then you come back to India and do one year of the for next clearing. Next one, which is the exam, national exit exam one will take. And then you do one year of Indian internship again. And then you give the national exit. Then you become MBBS doctor in India. So if you overall see, okay, two and a half years uh, uh, plus five and a half, seven and a half years, one year graduate internship, eight and a half years, nine and a half years, 10.5 years, 11.5 years. So total to become MBBS from Philippines, even if we assume everything comply, everything comply, 11 and a half to 13 and a half years, you become MBBS, not PG. In India, we become MBBS in five and a half years. And here you are becoming MBBS in 11 and a half years. You are taking 11 and a half years to become MBBS. Think of a situation. Do you want to go to a college which the CHAD letter, they are showing you, okay, CHAD letter, now we are compliant. So you still take, even if all that is true, even though the advisory is there against that. National Medical Commission, you write it. Still, I give you benefit of doubt. Still, it is 11 and a half years. Please understand. Why do you want 11 and a half years for MBBS, plain MBBS? So much of money, so much of efforts. When your course duration increased by seven and a half years, how much money uh, you will be paying? How much money you are paying into that? Very, very difficult. So what is the solution? So we have been working with National Medical Commission. We have been talking to them. So there is another notification by government of India. They say, if you do the post-graduation from five countries, which are UK, USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand. If you do the five countries, you can be treated as recognized for enrollment as a medical practitioner in India. So if you do this five countries, US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, if you do, there is another notification also. If you go for MBBS for to US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, the national exit exam is waived. But if you do the PG from US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, Canada, and you may be knowing US PG is free. There's no money. If you come back to India and you give the national exit exam, you go to private and deem one crore, one and a half crores, two crores. Here in USA, it is free. Every year, 1,500 to 2,000 seats go vacant. And that is why we, what we provide the solution to this is, okay, you are going to Philippines part of it. You, very well, you are knowing these are the problems which are the National Medical Commission and all are putting it. So those students who complete medical PG from USA and gets licensed to practice in USA. So we, as, as a student, we are a US based company. We know complete American process. We have, we have the, our own doctor's team. We have the academician's team. We will get you the PG for USA, which is the lowest qualification. In fact, in USA, MBBS takes eight years. And after eight years, you cannot practice. They want PG is mandatory. Every year, PG seats are increased. 1,500 to 2,000 PG seats every year go vacant in United States. People don't know the admission process. It's a free. 
there is not a single paisa fee they will pay you 10000 us dollars means around 8 lakhs rupees per month they will pay you if you do the pg from usa you can come back to india there is no need for the nmc compliant of philippines us uk australia new zealand canada are treated differently so us is definitely best with the my large number of student directly go to usa it is it is very cheap if you have the decent marks in 9 10th 11 12th and you take a sat with 1300 marks 2 to 4 lakhs rupees per year you go and what is sat exam 6 and 7 standard mathematics and english only comprehension passages so today i have got a separate video to that so in philippines what we did is we created a international batch so we created an international batch in a college which is our lady of fatima this is really usa pathway batch we create every student who comes to this international pathway batch will go to usa after completion of their md program bsmd our lady fatima is far better college than even the government college many government college like a bj medical a grant medical in maharashtra <clears throat> 30 students from usa comes to this college so we are 30 seats this year us citizens come because of quality and 70 student from india is 100 seats international batch this is the only batch which will 100% comply the national medical commission guidelines so philippines as i told you it's a uh, america us based uh, education it was a colony of usa they ruled for 50 years it's a christian country third largest english speaking country very safe and this college is in manila capital city and in usa one doctor out of 10 is from philippines it is the highest recognition and that is why the philippines this is if you may be seeing this is this is india and this is philippines this is near next to hong kong singapore malaysia in asia pacific region tropical country best education not all colleges if you go to any other college in philippines 11 and 1/2 years our lady fatima which is a college which is there manila this is far far better than as i said the government college so what is the beauty of this program what we are doing is the internship we are getting done in usa as i told you initially hospital experience is critical okay so once you do there is a exam usmle us medical like we have national exit us medical which is almost on the verge of scrapping there is only one exam usmle step 2 ck clinical knowledge which is on the patient diagnosis how to diagnose if you can diagnose a patient you can treat and one year internship in usa this is going to be the game changer in us hospital you know how to diagnose it's a cake walk for pg if you just do the internship in usa for one year it is a cake walk for usa and the residency which is the pg program is free they will pay you 10000 us dollars in 10000 us dollar you can stay full year it is a one month salary you can stay full year in united states that's a beauty you get almost like 3 crores 3 crores during the pg you can repay all the cost that is the beauty of the american education so this is the part which is going to be very very so this international batch this is a astute batch it is not our lady fatima batch it is a astute batch because we are not a college we want some degree and that is why we approach is a top college in philippines our lady fatima we will be taking the complete students and we will take care of the pg batch pg part we ourselves will groom you from first year of mbbs now the usml is gone and that is why your profile building research paper publications and all so it's a 5000 to 10000 but after 6 years when you pass down minimum 10000 dollars you will be getting minimum 3 crores plus in fact dollar will be more it will be more than 3 crores you will be getting and starting salary in doctor in usa currently is 2 and half to 3 crores per year you study 3 years 4 years you work after the study take it take 5 crores 10 crores and come back to india so what we have done now the bachelor of science is 2 years we have created two batches 5 4 years and 5 and 1/2 years because there are a lot of notification and discussions court cases still going on so first two years is common then you have option 
we say we always recommend you take the four years course go to usa you can come back to india that's not a problem but if any parents still feel we have given the option of five and a half years as the others are giving but it is not necessary but you can take that decision after two years also it is not necessary currently the my october november batch is there into that so we will from the first year bs we will prepare for pg now this is most critical from first year bs residency you have to do the projects you have to do the internships you have to do the rotations part you need to uh, do publish uh, youtube videos you have to create research profiles you have to create this is the only university in philippines currently giving international batches we have been talking to other universities also if they are willing to take it is a students batch into that so both so that is why international batch is the four years batch so two plus four six years then you go to united states complete your pg then you come back to india and you can then allow to practice in india that's a beauty into that this has got only 100 seats 30 seats from usa 70 from india the admissions are going on anybody is interested these are far better far cost effective programs but it has got a filter because we have only 70 seats this year 10 lakh students are qualified only 70 need third 300 plus but if you have got a good marks in like 80 percent plus in 10th or 12th we may reduce some of the need per marks but uh, uh, 65 percent and less 12th will be difficult uh, so to get admit it's a very very premium batch we are not it is not for uh, meant for everybody best of the teachers best of the syllabus we will get it done the pg program and that is why those there are students with 600 600 marks come because this is better than a government colleges very very premier so only in a batch which 100 students goes to USA. You cannot come back to India immediately. You complete the PG and then you come back to India. So that is the why if you are not interested in going for PG in USA, we are not giving you admission in this batch. This is a very, very premium batch. It's a free PG. It's a free PG in USA residency in PA. There are two PG programs into that. The total cost, $54,500. Okay almost uh, uh, like uh, it was hidden so $54,500 uh, which is around 40 lakhs six years fees plus complete residency profiling fee of $40,000 okay total 94,500 so 40 lakhs is six years your fees and all and the $40,000 where the my American doctor's team will be involved complete admission process visa part US visa everything end to end which will be there only living and food costs extra so around 70 lakhs in india if you are less than 525 marks you get far far uh, more than 75 lakhs in india which is mbbs plea plus pg if you are from maharashtra you may not apply to government and private colleges it is very very costly this is only 70 lakhs rupees okay and you are getting 3 crores plus in terms of stipend. In one year time, when you go to PG, you repay. And with American batch, bank loans are easily given. Bank loans are not at all a problem for the international batch. Because each and every student is going to United States. And doing the PG in United States. You do no need to ask money from your parents. Whether you have money, you don't have money. In America, American education many banks will give you even property mortgage is not required but if you have property <coughs> you get far far lower interest rate this is one of the best part of the the medical education far going bj medical grant medical better colleges pg which is in india one crore one and half crores which is you are saving PG cost of just $40,000, 30 lakh rupees. In India, nowhere you can do PG in 30 lakhs rupees. And there is no guarantee. In USA, 1,500. So the, my PG videos are also there. You can go through the PG videos. You are getting close to 3 crores. Even if you lavishly spend $75,000, 2.5 crores is your savings. And what in 2.5 crores? 
70 lakhs is a very small amount. You can repay the bank loan easily while you are in the PG. That's the beauty of American education. These are my contact number, double eight, double nine, double one, double seven. We can have the Zoom call with you. Or you can go to the acuteacademy.com and you can book online appointment either by Zoom or in person. We have office in Pune, Mumbai, Nagpur, Akola, Jabalpur. YouTube channel, s2promo.com. We can read all these recorded videos. You can see into that. One of the best part of it. So Philippines video I wanted to make. I have created for China, Russia, and Georgia. We have US videos. We have Indian MBBS also. We do the Indian MBBS purely on merit. No donation, no management quota. Even with 200 marks, you can get an MBBS admission in India purely on merit. But the fees is higher. So that is why the international destination, many people are going. So neat, definitely decent marks. Philippines, if you are going to any normal college, 11 and half years to 13 and half years for MBBS. Whereas Our Lady Fatima International Batch saves you five and a half years. You are saving five and a half years. It's a huge amount. And you get a far better than a government college in India. Your PG is also done, which is very, very difficult. Students, we don't have one seat per college per branch in Maharashtra. So thank you very much for patient listening. I really appreciate all this. So Philippines, Our Lady Fatima is your choice. Now you cannot go to China, Russia, Ukraine, Georgia, Kyrgyzstan. Please write a mail to National Medical Commission. Can I go to Russia and come back? It is not. Your internship has to be in English medium. It's a gazette notification, which has been challenged with the Supreme Court. It is though to 18th of November. Please ask counselor both uh, gazette notification. They are showing you only one, about 54 months and one year. They are not explaining the registration in India, means license to practice. Go to any doctor and check his certificate. It is written re registration. Registration is word National Medical Commission or Indian government uses for the license to practice. Without registration, you cannot practice. If you get a registration, so be very clear. In Russia, you have to write a paper in Russian language. If you want to license, how do you write a paper in Russian language? The body parts, the heart, intestine, kidney, the Russian words are different. You are taken the education in English medium and you are appearing in the paper in Russian. I, it is impossible. Let's not really make the counselors are telling and it is nothing but providing wrong information to the students and they'll be stuck in. And even though when these notifications were not there, nobody who, who is becoming PG, your whole of a life is. Uh, so whether you go into that US, UK, Australia, New Zealand, five countries PG, this is a must for you. So let's be very, very clear. We are going into that. Philippines, Our Lady Fadima is your solution. Cost is very low. Bank loans are easily available. Far better. And we will do the PG. If you want to settle in USA, in four to five years, you get a green card also nowadays. You can so go to Canada. You can go to Singapore. You can go to Gulf countries. You go to Australia, New Zealand, wherever you want to go. And you can practice and settle down. This is the best program which is there. Don't go fall in prey. It is the National Medical Commission and the CHAD. It is now law. We need to 100% comply. There is no question of interpretation now. Interpretation the time has gone. Now it is the law. You have to follow word by word. Thank you very much and appreciate you.